Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Mulholland, president and founder of Spa Medica. We've been offering aesthetic treatments for 25 years, both surgical and non-surgical. What is Botox? Botox, one of the most popular treatments done in aesthetic medicine. It's a tiny little liquefied protein that we inject discreetly, the tiny needle, into selected facial muscles to weaken those muscles and those underlying muscles then will no longer crinkle the facial animated skin. So Botox weakens the muscle, and by weakening the muscle, we soften facial wrinkles. Some of the many benefits of Botox include um, the ability to create a fresh and youthful look to the face with almost no downtime. Literally, it's one of the only lunchtime procedures we have where you can come in, get a facial treatment, and go back to work. We soften lines and wrinkles. We can elevate facial parts, get a Botox brow lift, a Botox mid-facial shaping. We can shrink structures like large clenching jaw muscles, like the masseter. We can shrink glands, like the submandibular gland, which can form little shadows under the chin. We can roll out the lip, we can shape faces, and we can soften wrinkles. So Botox is extremely versatile, very quick to do, relatively painless, and extremely effective. There are many other uses for Botox that we use in aesthetic medicine other than facial shaping and wrinkle softening. We can use it to shape bodies. I've used Botox many times in the shoulders of women who want to have a little more feminine shoulder when it's too athletic looking, or the calves to shrink down the calves and make the calves smaller, or elevate the breasts when uh, muscles are part of the, the droopy elements. We also use Botox frequently in the armpit for people that have excessive sweating so axillary hyperhidrosis, and it can soften um, uh, the skin in the axilla, and it can eliminate sweating for up to a year. So very versatile Botox, a number of different aesthetic applications that you can seek. The best time to get Botox is when uh, you're looking in the mirror and you're starting to see the early onset of lines and wrinkles. And so you're in your early 30s and you want to prevent the progression of the number 11s, the frown lines, the crow's feet, the horizontal worry lines. And so it can be a prejuvenation treatment. Before you've gotten old, you can stop wrinkles in their tracks. Most commonly, Botox is deployed as people start to see permanent lines and wrinkles after animation, typically in their early 40s. And it can eliminate those lines and retard the progression. And so the best time to start is when you're ready, when you're starting to see the early signs of aging, and then you've got to keep it up. Botox doesn't last forever. It lasts three, four, five months, so typically most patients will do it at least twice a year. There's very little recovery with Botox. It truly is, as, uh, as I mentioned, one of the only lunchtime procedures we have. Um, we clean your skin, take off the makeup. Um, we use safe techniques uh, in uh, in this coronavirus era with safe filters to minimize and eliminate any risk of you getting uh, any kind of airborne virus or the treatment technician. And then we inject the localized area, soften the wrinkles, shape the face, treat the, um, the excessive sweating or shape the body muscle part. We dab, hold a little bit of pressure and literally you can put on your clothes, a little bit of makeup if it's a facial treatment, go right back to work. There are very few alternatives to Botox. It's really in a unique category. It's one of the only, the only chemical substance we have that can locally and focally weaken muscle. Other things to treat wrinkles, um, like lazy resurfacing, fraction resurfacing, or plumping with soft tissue fillers, can accomplish some of what Botox does, but Botox is a very unique product and so, Botox itself is something we often combine with other things, but very few things can eliminate Botox. There are different kinds of Botox. There's um, Botox, as we classically know it from Allergan. Uh, there's Evolus, another large pharmaceutical company that makes a product called Nusabia in Canada, or um, in the US it's called Javo, also known as Nutox. Uh, there's Dysport from Galderma and then there's Xeomin for Mertz. Now all these products are liquefied protein, they all work with the same injection technique. They have some different dosimetry, um, but they all can be used effectively and interchangeably and often at Spa Medica I keep all types of different makers of Botox in case some people feel they may have a sensitivity to one type and not another. So why choose Spa Medica for your Botox? 
we have been doing Botox injections for over 25 years, tens of thousands of injections. The skill and artistry that's required to achieve truly elegant Botox elevation and wrinkle softening, facial and body shaping, the kind of skill set you want to see, you want to go to a place with a lot of experience. Um, we have nothing but specialist doctor injections, plastic surgeons, dermatologists, and facial plastic surgeons. We also have a team of four of the most experienced injection nurses in Canada, all of them with more than 10 years of experience and all trained by me. Surprisingly, despite having such a great reputation and so much experience, Spa Medica's Botox is also very affordable. Over the course of two and a half decades, we have done thousands of Botox uh, treatments and lots of TV stories around this phenomenal little chemical. Let's take a look. Here is Lane Fraser. Thanks, Tom. Well, a substance derived from the lowly botulism bacteria is being used in a most unusual way. Botox injections are giving people a non-surgical way to fight wrinkles. You know, most people say that I'm frowning when I don't even think I'm frowning. People like 51-year-old Paulette Gilmorton wanting to banish frown lines have a non-surgical weapon. It's called Botox, an injectable drug that paralyzes small areas of muscle, essentially taking away your ability to frown. It takes about five minutes and consists of a number of small injections using very fine needles. Paulette has decided to have the procedure. Because I feel like I always look angry when I frown. Cosmetic plastic surgeon Steve Mulholland of Toronto Spa Medica, where Paulette works, says Botox treatment can be a safe, relatively painless way to ease wrinkles, including between the eyebrows and other areas. You can treat the lines that come across your forehead. If you're always lifting your eyebrows up, you crease the forehead skin and you can treat those. And the smile lines, these guys right here, uh, the other areas that you can treat are out over the crow's feet. The Botox injections are not permanent. On average, the first treatment lasts about 12 weeks. Then your ability to frown returns. Subsequent injections are needed. They tend to last longer, though, as the muscle becomes weaker. Some of the possible side effects can include Possibly irritation and bruising, and very rarely some temporary mm -hmm. drooping of the brows or double vision. Yeah. Two weeks after the procedure, right. Paulette is okay. happy with the results. Yeah. It's terrific, and um, people say that I look actually a little bit different. An average Botox treatment costs about $400 and must be done by a qualified physician. We're back now with health news for you and your family, and tonight we're talking about Botox. Uh, more and more people getting into this. Oh, absolutely, Gord. Botox is the most common non-surgical cosmetic procedure in Canada. This magic poison has the ability to erase wrinkles and even stop excessive perspiring. But is it safe over the long term? A new study out today says yes. Our goal is to have you go right back to work. So you can do, do this on your lunch break or on your coffee break. 15 years ago, no one heard of Botox. So Botox. Five years ago, it was just catching on. Now it's like a household word. That's the Botox, right there. That white rim around the bottom of this jar. It doesn't look like much, but this is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And it is one of the most deadliest substances known to man. It is a poison, it is a protein from a bacteria, and in large doses, in the order of three to 4,000 units, it can be toxic. But in small doses, a study has found, Botox is very safe, even in the long term. Fifty people were followed for about six years. In that time, they each had an average of 19 treatments and no adverse reactions or buildup of toxicity. That reassures patients like 41-year-old Marianne Benusis, who is getting Botox for the first time. I'm hoping that I won't look like I'm worried all the time. Dr. Mulholland injects Marianne around the forehead paralyzing the worry muscles. He does the eyes as well as the neck. Put on a little powder, foundation, makeup, and you are good to go. 20 years ago, I probably would have thought um, it was a little unnatural. But maybe I'm a hypocrite, but uh, I think we live in a vain society, so a little enhancement is, is not a bad thing. It's a subject most of us don't like to talk about, even though it's perfectly normal. And we all do it. Talking about sweating. <laughs> not that bad. It's our body's cooling system, but sometimes that system, of course, can go out of whack. And when that happens, it can have a major impact on people's lives. Here's Global's Mina Ree with more. Living with hyperhidrosis can be draining. So, like, after the shower, you're already sweating? Pretty much, yeah. 
I can feel the drip happening. Up to a million Canadians are suffering silently from excessive sweating. Well, I believe that when you say uh, can't, it means you won't. Or you The embarrassing condition has caused Brandon Williams to conduct his career as a life coach remotely. I want to be able to sit with my clients and feel comfortable rather than having in the background uh, of my mind that, you know, there's this problem constantly going on. He constantly has to replace his shirts. So okay. it's not just the pit stains? No, it's just, it deteriorates the fabric of the shirt. The fabric will just stiffen up and it becomes very fragile and f starts falling apart. Drysol and hydrosol, which used to be prescription only, are now available over the counter, but they can be irritating. A starch iodine test confirms that Brandon has stage 4 hyperhidrosis. So the black reaction is a positive test. Nothing else has worked for him, so he's mustered up the nerve to get Botox. A year of improvement, eight to nine months, you'll have almost no sweating. So how does a drug that's typically used to relax wrinkles in the face turn off the taps to sweating? There's tiny little muscles in the sweat glands that squeeze the sweat along. It relaxes that, the, those muscles so you can't squish the sweat out onto your skin. And having that retained sweat inside your glands does absolutely no harm. Your body just resorbs it. OHIP never pays for this kind of treatment, but some private insurers will. And in those cases, they'll pay for the cost of Botox, which for Brandon is $1,200, but not the doctor's injection fee, which can run anywhere from $150 to $500 an area. Brandon says you can't put a price on what it'll do for him. I know, it's freedom. I'm very excited. Now, Botox is also being used for sweaty palms and feet, and there's a process called iontophorosis, where you immerse your, say, your hands or your feet into pans of electrified water. They say it doesn't hurt, um, but it takes about half an hour, and you have to repeat the process every 10 days or so. Botox Boy. can last up to a year. This is life-changing for yeah. him, for sure.